CD2. Test 3. Key English Test Listening Examination. Practice Test 3. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Look at the instructions for part 1. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. What time is it? Excuse me, can you tell me the time? Yes, it's nine o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome. The answer is nine o'clock, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. Where is Mark going at the weekend? What are you doing this weekend, Mark? Well, I wanted to go to the mountains or the forest, but I've got no one to go with. Oh, I'm going to the river. Do you want to come with me? Thanks. Great. Now listen again. What are you doing this weekend, Mark? Well, I wanted to go to the mountains or the forest, but I've got no one to go with. Oh, I'm going to the river. Do you want to come with me? Thanks. Great. Two. How many students are there at the school? Last year, there were 600 students at the school. Really? Are there more this year? Yes, there are 100 more this year. So now there are 700? Yes, that's right. Now listen again. Last year, there were 600 students at the school. Really? Are there more this year? Yes. There are 100 more this year. So now there are 700. Yes, that's right. 3. Where is the hospital? Can you tell me the way to the hospital? Yes. Go down this street and take the second road on your left. <sighs> Is that before or after the traffic lights? It's just before the lights. Now listen again. Can you tell me the way to the hospital? Yes. Go down this street and take the second road on your left. <sighs> Is that before or after the traffic lights? It's just before the lights. 4. What must they remember to take? OK, so we've got our passports. Yes. And we've got our plane tickets and travellers' checks. Have we forgotten anything? Um. yes. We must remember to take some film for the camera. Now listen again. OK, so we've got our passports. Yes. And we've got our plane tickets and travellers' checks. Have we forgotten anything? Um. Yes. We must remember to take some film for the camera. 5. Which is Christina's family? Your brother is much taller than you, isn't he, Christina? 
No, he's shorter. And your father? What about him? Well, I'm shorter than him. Now listen again. Your brother is much taller than you, isn't he, Christina? No, he's shorter. And your father? What about him? Well, I'm shorter than him. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Mario talking to Francesca about his birthday presents. What presents did each person give Mario? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Mario. I really enjoyed your birthday party. Did you? Good. What presents did you get? Did Dinos buy you a t-shirt? No, he didn't. He bought me a sweater. And Paul gave me a computer book. What about your mum and dad? They're paying for me to go on holiday to the USA next summer. Can you believe it? Hey, that's great, Mario. What about your sister? Well, usually she gives me something really boring, like socks. <laughs> but this year, she gave me a Walkman. Wow. And I'm sure your uncle in Australia sent you something expensive, as always. Yes. Uncle Terry sent me a great bag for college. You know, the kind you wear over your shoulder. That was a good idea for a present, wasn't it? Anything else? No, that's everything. Wait a minute. I found a watch, but I don't know who it's from. That was from me. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Francesca. Now listen again. Hello, Mario. I really enjoyed your birthday party. Did you? Good. What presents did you get? Did Dinos buy you a t-shirt? No, he didn't. He bought me a sweater. And Paul gave me a computer book. What about your mum and dad? They're paying for me to go on holiday to the USA next summer. Can you believe it? Hey, that's great, Mario. What about your sister? Well, usually she gives me something really boring, like socks. <laughs> but this year, she gave me a Walkman. Wow. And I'm sure your uncle in Australia sent you something expensive, as always. Yes. Uncle Terry sent me a great bag for college. You know, the kind you wear over your shoulder. That was a good idea for a present, wasn't it? Anything else? No, that's everything. Wait a minute. I found a watch, but I don't know who it's from. That was from me. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Francesca. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Stephanie talking to an assistant at the chemist's about her photographs. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now 
Now listen to the conversation. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes. I left two films here last Monday for developing and I've come to get my photographs. Have you got your ticket? No, I'm afraid I couldn't find it. I'm very sorry. Never mind. What's your name, please? Stephanie Phillips. That's P-H-I-L-I-P-S. Thank you. Let me see. Ah, here we are. Miss Phillips. Please check to see if the photos are all right. Mm, um, <clears throat> oh, dear. Some of them aren't too bad, but these are very dark, aren't they? Yes. The problem is, you took those photos with the sun in front of you. The sun should be behind you. And why are the people in these photos so small? Well, you took them from too far away. <laughs> Is there anything I've done right? Yes. Some of your photos are very beautiful. The river here. Those animals. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, by the way, that's £9.99. <laughs> of course. Here you are. Thank you. Now listen again. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes. I left two films here last Monday for developing and I've come to get my photographs. Have you got your ticket? No, I'm afraid I couldn't find it. I'm very sorry. Never mind. What's your name, please? Stephanie Phillips. That's P-H-I-L-I-P-S. Thank you. Let me see. Ah, here we are. Miss Phillips. Please check to see if the photos are all right. Mm, um, <clears throat> oh, dear. Some of them aren't too bad, but these are very dark, aren't they? Yes. The problem is, you took those photos with the sun in front of you. The sun should be behind you. And why are the people in these photos so small? Well, you took them from too far away. <laughs> Is there anything I've done right? Yes. Some of your photos are very beautiful. The river here. Those animals. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, by the way, that's £9.99. Of course. Here you are. Thank you. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning about a weekend job. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good afternoon. Low Price Supermarket. Can I help you? Yes, please. I saw your advertisement and I want to know about the weekend job. Well, we need somebody downstairs to lift heavy things. Have you done that before? Yes, I have. And I'm very strong. How much do you pay? Are you 18 yet? No, I'll be 18 next year. We pay £5.15 per hour, but £6.30 when you're 18. Can you work in the evenings? Or only at the weekends? I'm a student, so I can only work at the weekends. That's not a problem. Can you come here at five o'clock today to meet the manager? 
Her name is Mrs. Rubino. I'm sorry. Mrs. Rubino. R, U, B, I, N, O. I have a class until five, but I can be there a little later. Okay. Come at five thirty then. All right. Where is the supermarket, please? It's next to the post office, in the high street. Thank you. Now listen again. Good afternoon, low price supermarket. Can I help you? Yes, please. I saw your advertisement, and I want to know about the weekend job. Well, we need somebody downstairs to lift heavy things. Have you done that before? Yes, I have, and I'm very strong. How much do you pay? Are you eighteen yet? No, I'll be eighteen next year. We pay five pounds fifteen per hour, but six pounds thirty when you're eighteen. Can you work in the evenings, or only at the weekends? I'm a student, so I can only work at the weekends. That's not a problem. Can you come here at five o'clock today to meet the manager? Her name is Mrs. Rubino. I'm sorry. Mrs. Rubino. R U B I N O. I have a class until five, but I can be there a little later. Okay. Come at five thirty then. All right. Where is the supermarket, please? It's next to the post office, in the high street. Thank you. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about buses to London. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Hello, this is a recorded message. From yellow buses, our office is closed at the moment. We open again on Monday morning at eight thirty, and close at seven o'clock in the evening. On Sunday, the office is open from nine a.m. to six p.m. There are ten buses to London each day. They leave the bus station at thirty minutes past each hour. On Sunday, there are seven buses. The journey to London takes about two hours. You can buy tickets when this office is open, or on the bus when you travel. Return tickets cost fifteen pounds for an adult, and eight pounds. For children and students, single tickets cost eleven pounds and five pounds for children and students. Food and drink are for sale on the bus. Sandwiches cost one pound ninety, and orange juice costs seventy-five pence. Coffee and tea cost one pound ten. Thank you for calling Yellow Buses. Now listen again.
Hello. This is a recorded message from Yellow Buses. Our office is closed at the moment. We open again on Monday morning at eight thirty, and close at seven o'clock in the evening. On Sunday, the office is open from nine a.m. to six p.m. There are ten buses to London each day. They leave the bus station at thirty minutes past each hour. On Sunday, there are seven buses. The journey to London takes about two hours. You can buy tickets when this office is open, or on the bus when you travel. Return tickets. Cost fifteen pounds for an adult, and eight pounds for children and students. Single tickets cost eleven pounds, and five pounds for children and students. Food and drink are for sale on the bus. Sandwiches cost one pound ninety, and orange juice costs seventy-five pence. Coffee and tea cost one pound ten. Thank you for calling Yellow Buses. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Now pause the tape. This is the end of the test. Test four. Key English test listening examination. Practice test four. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Did many people come to the meeting? About thirty. That's quite a lot. Yes. More than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. How much was the restaurant bill? How much did the meal cost? I think it was fifty pounds altogether. That's very expensive for two people. Twenty-five pounds each. Yes, but the food was very good. Now listen again. How much did the meal cost? I think it was fifty pounds altogether. That's very expensive for two people. Twenty-five pounds each. Yes, but the food was very good. Two. How long was the journey? What time did the boat leave? Early in the morning, at six o'clock. And you arrived at ten in the evening. Yes, so we were on the boat for sixteen hours. Now listen again. What time did the boat leave? Early in the morning, at six o'clock. And you arrived at ten in the evening. Yes, so we were on the boat for sixteen hours. Three. What did the man do last night? 
So what did you do last night? Well, I was thinking of going to the cinema or the theatre. But you didn't go. Why is that? I was tired, so I stayed at home and watched television. Now listen again. So what did you do last night? Well, I was thinking of going to the cinema or the theatre. But you didn't go. Why is that? I was tired, so I stayed at home and watched television. 4. How does Stefano usually get to school? Do you walk to school every day, Stefano? No, my brother takes me in his car. So where's your brother today? He's on a bus. His car isn't working. Now listen again. Do you walk to school every day, Stefano? No, my brother takes me in his car. So where's your brother today? He's on a bus. His car isn't working. 5. How did she hear about the accident? Did you hear about the accident in the newspaper? No, it wasn't in the paper and it wasn't on the radio either. My sister told me about it when she phoned me. Oh, I see. Now listen again. Did you hear about the accident in the newspaper? No, it wasn't in the paper and it wasn't on the radio either. My sister told me about it when she phoned me. Oh, I see. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to David talking to Isabel about his family. Where did each person go on Saturday? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, David. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Isabel. Yes. But I was very busy. What did you do? Well, on Saturday morning, I had to take Emily to the dentist because she had a toothache. Oh dear. Is she all right now? Yes, she's okay. After the dentist, I had to drive my father to the supermarket. He doesn't like shopping alone and he wanted me to help him buy the food for dinner. Did you go to the game in the afternoon? I didn't have time, but Sarah went. She thinks basketball is great. I took Rob swimming at three o'clock, but we were late because of the traffic. Where was Ricky? He went to his lesson at the tennis club. Was your mother at home alone? Only until about six o'clock. And then I had to take her to see that new Tom Cruise film. It was quite good. Now listen again. Hello, David. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Isabel. Yes, but I was very busy. What did you do? Well, on Saturday morning, I had to take Emily to the dentist because she had a toothache. Oh dear. Is she all right now? Yes, she's okay. After the dentist, I had to drive my father to the supermarket. He doesn't like shopping alone and he wanted me to help him buy the food for dinner. Did you go to the game in the afternoon? I didn't have time, but Sarah went. She thinks basketball is great. I took Rob swimming at three o'clock, but we were late because of the traffic. 
Where was Ricky? He went to his lesson at the tennis club. Was your mother at home alone? Only until about six o'clock, and then I had to take her to see that new Tom Cruise film. It was quite good. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Anna talking to her friend Sarah about a summer job. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Double five seven three four one two. Hello. Is that Anna? Sarah here. How are you? Hi, Sarah. I'm okay, but I'm looking for a summer holiday job. Are you? My dad needs another assistant in his shop. Working with you? Tell me something about the job. Well, it's full time, five days a week. What time do you start work in the morning? At eight o'clock. I usually get the bus at seven thirty. Hmm. Okay. And what's the pay? I want to save some money for a new computer game. Well, I get four pounds fifty an hour, but for the first month you'll get four pounds. Some people get five pounds. Is there somewhere to eat near the shop, or do you take something from home for your lunch? Most days I take sandwiches from home. There's a park around the corner, and I usually eat them in the park. But sometimes. I go to Pizza Roma. Perhaps I'll go to see your dad. Where's the shop exactly? It's in Biranos Avenue. B, Y, R, O, N, O, S. Hmm. Thanks, Sarah. Goodbye. Wish me luck. Now listen again. Double five seven three four one two. Hello. Is that Anna? Sarah here. How are you? Hi, Sarah. I'm okay, but I'm looking for a summer holiday job. Are you? My dad needs another assistant in his shop. Working with you? Tell me something about the job. Well, it's full time, five days a week. What time do you start work in the morning? At eight o'clock. I usually get the bus at seven thirty. Hmm. Okay. And what's the pay? I want to save some money for a new computer game. Well, I get four pounds fifty an hour, but for the first month you'll get four pounds. Some people get five pounds. Is there somewhere to eat near the shop, or do you take something from home for your lunch? Most days I take sandwiches from home. There's a park around the corner, and I usually eat them in the park. But sometimes. I go to Pizza Roma. Perhaps I'll go to see your dad. Where's the shop exactly? It's in Biranos Avenue. B Y 
R O N O S. Hmm. Thanks, Sarah. Goodbye. Wish me luck. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good afternoon. Crown English Language School. Hello. Can you give me some information about your school? Yes, of course. How can I help you? First, when does the next English class begin? We always start a new class on the first Monday of each month. So the next class begins on Monday the 4th of August. That's next week. Good. What time do the classes begin? Well, they start at 8.30. But on the first day, students need to come a little earlier, at about a quarter past eight. And where is the school? I don't have the address. The school is at the end of Bridge Road, number 158, on the left. Let me look on my map. Just a minute. We're just next to the railway station. OK, I've got it. Thank you very much for all your help. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now listen again. Good afternoon. Crown English Language School. Hello. Can you give me some information about your school? Yes, of course. How can I help you? First, when does the next English class begin? We always start a new class on the first Monday of each month. So the next class begins on Monday, the 4th of August. That's next week. Good. What time do the classes begin? Well, they start at 8.30. But on the first day, students need to come a little earlier, at about a quarter past eight. And where is the school? I don't have the address. The school is at the end of Bridge Road, number 158, on the left. Let me look on my map. Just a minute. We're just next to the railway station. OK, I've got it. Thank you very much for all your help. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about music classes. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Thank you for calling. I'm on holiday at the moment and cannot talk to you. But please listen to this information about music classes. Piano classes are twice each week, on Monday and Thursday, or Tuesday and Friday. Classes start at 4 o'clock on Monday and Thursday, 
and at five o'clock on Tuesday and Friday. All classes are for one hour. The price for piano classes is sixty pounds per month. Guitar classes are on Wednesday and Saturday, from three o'clock for forty-five minutes. There is also a guitar class for adults on Wednesday evenings at six o'clock, or on Saturday evenings, also at six. These classes are also one hour long. They cost fifty pounds per month, but adults pay eight pounds. Per class, all adult guitar classes are full at the moment. Classes start again on Monday, the twenty-third of April. Please use my new telephone number from this date. The new number is eight three nine zero four two seven five. Now listen again. Thank you for calling. I'm on holiday at the moment and cannot talk to you, but please listen to this information about music classes. Piano classes are twice each week, on Monday and Thursday. Or Tuesday and Friday. Classes start at four o'clock on Monday and Thursday, and at five o'clock on Tuesday and Friday. All classes are for one hour. The price for piano classes is sixty pounds per month. Guitar classes are on Wednesday and Saturday, from three o'clock for forty-five minutes. There is also a guitar class for adults on Wednesday evenings at six o'clock, or on Saturday evenings, also at six. These classes are also one hour long. They cost fifty pounds per month, but adults pay eight pounds per class. All adult guitar classes are full at the moment. Classes start again on Monday, the twenty-third of April. Please use my new telephone number from this date. The new number is eight three nine zero four two seven five. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes. To write your answers on the answer sheet. Now pause the tape. This is the end of the test. Published and copyright Pearson Education Limited, two thousand and three.